That was a lot of coffee. And with that said, I hope you are enjoying your day, afternoon, and your evening, wherever you are in our third rock from the sun, planet Earth. Thanks for watching. And right now, as you can see, two wonderful cups of coffee from two good corporations. Mm, they're very prominent. One in the United States, the other one in Canada and the Northeast of the United States. So we're not actually talking about one via the other in that context. We are talking about the two of them going at it in the peppermint mocha area of their restaurants. This is part one of two in this contest. I'm planning to do peppermint mochas from McDonald's and Dunkin' Donuts and then will decide together out of four restaurants which rubber mint mocha is better. The other discussion that came into my head right now is who has the better rubber mint mocha. But do you know some place local in your area that has good rubber mint mochas? I think that'd be really cool. Chat. So, let's do the, ooh, actually, this is full, the, Tim Hortons is fuller than the Starbucks. Tim Hortons has a little bit more weight to it for some interesting reason. That's very interesting alone. Huh, fun. So, let's go ahead and taste the Tim Hortons. Very good. Very, very good. There's a lot of peppermint and chocolate in it. The peppermint is very much overpowering the milk, the coffee, than, say, the chocolate. I can taste the chocolate and the coffee the most. And the milk not the much, and the coffee not so much. Okay, let's taste Starbucks. Okay, this is interesting because I can taste the peppermint and the chocolate. Here's the twist in my brain. For the Starbucks, I can taste nothing else. I can only taste the levels like we did with the Morton's. I can taste the chocolate and peppermint and nothing else. I cannot taste the milk and I cannot taste the coffee. As to which one is better, I'm going to take another sip of each. Interesting. I actually have no idea. To me, they are both good cups of coffee and great flavored. They are flavored nice. Tim Hortons is cheaper than Starbucks. It's like, this is 
four dollars and change. This was six dollars and change. So in that regard, Tim's wins on the monetary area. Flavor, it's a tie with the Tim Hortons. Now I'm thinking about it, and as I said previous, I can taste everything in this versus that. Granted, when I'm drinking a peppermint mocha for the season, I want to taste everything. As to who has more peppermint, it's Tim's. As to who has more chocolate, again, repeating myself, it's Starbucks. Here's the thing, it's a tie. I really can't tell which is better. That said, let me know in the comments what you think. Who is better, Tim Hortons? Starbucks. I am completely baffled. Your turn. I'm trying to figure out a winner, and my brain's like, no, I can't. So, sorry. I'm Dave. This is my life. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day, afternoon, and your evening wherever you are on the third rock on this on our lovely planet Earth.